Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got a really cool knife community contest that you can all get in on. One of my favorite things to do as a knife enthusiast is modify my own knives. Um, now, I'm not the most creative person in the world, but I definitely enjoy taking one or more aspects of my knife and altering them to give it a more personalized touch. And I know you guys like to do this as well. Uh, some of you are so unbelievably creative. Some of the people I follow on Instagram have some amazing uh, knife modifications that um, they've done themselves. And I'm not talking about custom knives, but I'm not talking about multi-thousand dollar custom knives that were created specifically for somebody, right? And they're just showing off like, hey, I bought this, right? That's cool in and of itself. But what I'm talking about are people who have taken regular production knives. They bought aftermarket parts um, or in some cases created their own parts and then altered the knife in some way that's just spectacular. Um, so I've always thought this is really cool. I would love uh, to create content, uh, you know, covering this type of stuff and share it with the knife community in a way that is both visually entertaining and at the same time informative. Because so many people are always asking me, where do people get these parts? What are these parts? Or how do people do? So uh, I thought it would be really fun to create content surrounding this topic, share it with everybody, and then add a sort of contest element to it that allows people to win prizes. So. What I've decided to do is create a five-part series with a final part six where we determine the best of the best. Each of these volumes, this will be called, you know, Amazing Knife Modifications Volume 1 through Volume 5. Each of these volumes or uploads will consist of five images of amazing uh, community-submitted uh, knife modifications. And you guys will be able to vote on each of these individual uploads. So there'll be 25 uh, pictures total, 25 knife mods total, and then uh, five winners, one winner selected from each of the volumes. There'll be a final volume six where we have the five winners and you guys will be able to vote for the best of the best. And the person who is the best of the best will win an awesome knife, which I'm going to show here in just a second. So I'm sure you're wondering, okay, so wait a sec. The only way that I can enter is if I have an awesome picture of a knife that I've modified myself. That's definitely how you enter to win the first prize. But you also, even if you don't have a knife modification, just by interacting with this content, just by voting uh, underneath these videos that I'm going to upload, you will be entered to win a separate prize. So literally anybody and everybody can get in on this. Um, there'll be more information um, as these uploads come out. So now I'm sure you're wondering, okay, I got it. So how do I submit uh, my entry for this contest if I have a modified knife? Well, you're gonna want to submit a photo to the silent complex at gmail.com, which is shown on screen right now. But before you do that, I have very specific instructions. If you want to actually have your knife mod entered uh, for this contest, you will need to follow these instructions very carefully. I'm gonna insert this in here real quick because I really need to emphasize exactly how important this is. Do not go to Google or Instagram or Facebook, rip somebody else's images and submit them as your own. These images absolutely need to belong to you. They need to be authentic, taken by you of your own knife that you modified. I can easily do a reverse image search on Google and find out where else these images exist online. On top of that, these images will be subject to likely thousands of people when I upload them in the different volumes. So if I find out that the image does not belong to you, you will be removed from the contest. Even if that image is the one that has the most votes, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't belong to you, you cannot win. Please don't waste my time, your own time, or anybody else's time. Make sure that you are submitting authentic photos. I'm gonna show an image of my Spyderco Pair 3 um, as an example of exactly what it is that I'm looking for. First and foremost, the image needs to be super clear. It needs to look good. Um, people do not want to look at pictures of knives that are laying on your bedspread and they're kind of like fuzzy. <laughs> that's not what we want to see, right? That's not, I mean, I know, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's not what people want to see. We want to see the up close and personal. We want to see what's going on in crisp, high definition, right? Most of us have phones that are capable of taking pictures like this. So you want to get good lighting, you want to make it nice and crisp. If you need to edit it a little bit, those of you who've messed around with a photo editor on your phone or on Instagram, right? That's fine. 
Um, you know, make it look, if it looks cool to you, you can submit it that way. You can also take multiple images. If you need to show off different sides of the knife for the pocket clip or the backspacer, that's fine. Submit multiple images. The most important part of this is that you need to include the information about the modifications on the picture. Do not send me pictures or one, don't send me one or multiple pictures and then just text in the email of the of the knife mod. Now I want this text on the actual image. This is really easy to do. Go into your photo editor on your phone and just choose the text uh, option and then you can overlay the text on the image. Don't go crazy or weird or fancy with the font. Just make it readable, right? White with a black outline. It's usually pretty easy to do. Nice big chunky text. So in this case, you can see here, I've got information on the scales, the RGT micarta scales. And then I've also got information on the pocket clip, the MXG Deep Carry Titanium Pocket Clip. You'll also notice that I have plugged my Instagram, which is something that you guys can absolutely do. You can absolutely take advantage of this. If you have social media, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, feel free to include it. Include this information on all of the images. You can see here I've got a front and a back. Include the information on all of the images, preferably in the same place so that it looks good. Um, make the main focus of the picture the knife. Don't take up you know, too much room with the text and don't put your Instagram right in the middle of the pic. We wanna look at the knife, right? That's the main emphasis here is we wanna see uh, the knife mod. So um, obviously, you know, there's only gonna be 25 uh, entries that actually make it into this. So, you know, how do you get chosen? Basically, I'm going to have to screen these. So you guys send your pictures, follow the instructions. I'm going to look over the ones that I think look the coolest. Yeah. It's just uh, initially it's going to be like a, yeah, that looks good to me. And then I'm going to put it on. I mean, that's going to be the easiest way to do that. Otherwise it's going to be way too much work. The series is going to be way too long trying to include everybody's modification. There's just not getting, it's, it's, people are going to lose interest. So this is the simplest way to do it. Send me the pictures. There's not going to be any text confirmation. I'm not, I'm not going to email you back and say, you made it or you didn't make it, right? You just send me the image and you wait for the volumes. Um, there's going to be, you know, likely hundreds of images sent to me. So I'm just going to go through them, pick the ones that I like and include them in these volumes. Um, if you follow all those instructions, that's the best way, right? Um, like I said, I'm not looking for custom knives, right? Things like Spyderco, Benchmade, Hinders are fine, right? Or anything. I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a knife where there's tons of aftermarket parts available. If you have just a production knife that's relatively available, right? That would be nice selecting things that are relatively available. It doesn't have to be absolutely available, but stuff that's actually obtainable, right? That's the kind of stuff that's most likely to make it into the upload. I want to share things that other people can create if they choose to. That's part of the fun of it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. Now, um, the prizes. We do have a couple of prizes. Like I said, there's going to be more information. If you are, um, as these videos come out, if you are commenting and voting on these videos, um, which by the way, I'm going to be using hadzi.com to sort through the comments and you know figure out which knives are actually being voted for the most. Um, you will uh, enter. You, you'll be entered to win a really cool prize. You don't have to do anything but comment or interact with these videos in order to win this. So this first prize, for those of you who are just spectating and voting, is going to be the new Hogue Deca V2. This is a, I think these are about 140, 150 bucks. These are USA made, CPM 20 CV uh, G10. This new version has the minimal hardware, the um, the all, the uh, different clip, right? These are really, really cool knives. I figured um, the person who uh, wins that will be really happy. And then to the person who wins the uh, most voted for modified knife, which will be selected at volume six, you're actually going to win um, the Fanatic Edge Omen V2 in M390 and titanium. I thought this was cool because Fanatic Edge is known for doing awesome knife modifications. This is kind of a blank canvas. So if you won, it would be a perfect opportunity for you to do something really, really cool with it. These are valued at about $360. So I thought that would be fun. So yeah, whether you have a, and, and by the way, if you have a modified knife and you want to vote, you have a chance to win both of these. It's not like you're excluded one way or another, whether you are spectating or you have an actual entry, you can win. I thought this would be really, really fun. There's not going to be a specific schedule. Just watch my channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you can catch each of the uploads. Um, it'll probably span 
anywhere from a week to three weeks, something like that. If you're paying attention, you'll probably see every single upload. So yeah, that's pretty much how we're gonna do this. Pretty straightforward and simple. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them right down in the comment section. The comment section under this particular video is not an entry in and of itself. It is in no way, shape or form gonna count you know, your votes or your comments or anything like that. It's not gonna count towards entry. Uh, the, the individual uploads, volume one through volume six, um, those are the videos where the, the comments are going to count. So if you have any additional questions, feel, feel free to ask me right down in the comment section. I'll try to clarify. That's going to be pretty much it today. Hope you guys are excited. I uh, can't wait to check out and see your awesome creations. Again, email me at thesilentcomplex at gmail.com. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.